We'll move into our next animated logo. This time it's going to be a 007. This was not my original idea. Um, the movie company had this logo. I thought it looked really cool and wanted to recreate it because it's got some decent techniques on animating logos. So I am going to find my where I recreated the vector artwork in Illustrator and each item is in its own individual layer. Um, I'm going to change it to composition and leave it like that. Hit OK. That's just the way I work. I'm going to double click into this composition that it's created for me and see it's already dumped all my layers in there. That's cool. I know the gun is going to be what I am masking later. I'm just going to move that to the top. That'll make a little bit more sense later. Um, understand your composition settings. This guy's set to a slightly different size. HDTV 1080 by at 29.97 frames per second. Um, when before I think we were up here. So it's good to understand all of the differences. This one's a little bit more widescreen. Um, five seconds is fine for now. We can always change it. Background color. That's an ever moving piece and understanding where you can change it or if you need to add a rectangle to the background is always good. All right, so I hit okay. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use this invert effect. So go to your effects presets. If it's not there, open it up this way, search for invert and make sure you're grabbing the channel. Channel is referring to colors for the most part. Um, you may hear cha col channel color channels in terms of like a green screen. Um, so that's that, that has to do with colors. So also the alpha does as well, but we're going to use channel invert and we're going to put this onto everyone and that's just swapping. This is more because I want you to understand it's there. It's not necessarily exactly the way you would create it. You'd maybe create everything initially the way it should be. Um, it's to understand it's there for the most part. Okay. So next thing we're going to do, I'm going to open up my th top four layers. I'm going to leave 60 for now. You can just sit back there and live. Um, I'm going to grab all these other four layers and hit P to open up position. I'm going to go to about two seconds and I'm going to make sure this is my final resting place by starting a keyframe for those. Um, and then I'm going to work backwards. So now I'm going to go over here while these four layers are selected and I'm going to move them straight. I'm hitting holding shift. When I hold shift, it pops it into straight just like it would for any of our stuff. And I'm going to move it. I know that you can't really see it once it's there, but I'm going to move it all the way off because you can't see just the tiniest bit. Okay. Cool. Now, you see this guy come in. But what I want to happen is once it hits kind of right there in the zero, I want white to happen, right? So I'm, you're going to have to do a couple of things to make that happen. So what I'm first going to do is grab these layers and I'm going to now pre-compose them. I'm going to put them in a little composition and it's going to kind of like grouping layers or adding them to a folder. It's going to allow me to do some adjustments to all of them a little bit easier. Uh, we'll call it seven with gun animate uh, motion. It's fine. So now this guy exists there. He's an animation. So he happens within his animation. I can always get back to him by clicking into here or get back to just this kind of plane. I can rename this 007 with 60 years if that helps. Um, and it's just kind of understanding those. Okay, so now I've got him here. I want to recreate this layer and I'm gonna throw another invert onto it to pop it back to white again. So I'm gonna go Command C, Command V. I'm gonna get my invert again. And I'm gonna drag it over this. And now he's white. So I've got a black version, a white version. They're on top of each other there. And you can see him growing. I don't want him to show except for right when he hits there. Right when he hits this zero. 
So what I'm going to do while I have this layer selected, I'm going to go up, I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab a rectangle tool for this. It would make sense also to use a circle, but it's just a tiny little piece. And I'm gonna draw out a rectangle within this circle and that's where I want just the white to show. Kind of like that. Okay. Makes its own layer. Now because if you don't have the layer selected when you draw a rectangle, it's gonna make another rectangle layer. If you do have a layer selected, it's going to force it into a mask, which starts to get other cool things. So now what happens? when he moves forward watch how just this little section is showing and because i have him on top that black is still there this one's still there i just have this little guy on top covering it with the mask that's only revealing that tiny little spot isn't that cool um at that point you could do all kinds of things. You could animate this 60 to fade in with a really quick, um, you know, opacity adjustment kind of thing. You could, boom, and there's your finish. Let's even make, he didn't even need to be that long. Let's just go to two and a half seconds. And see how that mask just, um, really makes a cool little effect. Let's go 2 and 15 and play again. In, in. Very cool. Utilizing that mask. Now those masks can get into all kinds of crazy things that you can do with masks. And I will not lie, when trying to figure out how to make this occur in the fewest amount of steps, I tried a few different options. At one point, I was definitely working more in with all of them, like when 60 was in there too. So I say that because as designers, and in this case, you're doing some motion with your design, this would be your own logo in theory, um, you have to learn how to, how to play and sort of push and pull until you get the final result that you want. So... That mask can be utilized in so many different ways. Um, the next lesson is going to show masking also, but in kind of a different way. Um, but I hope that opens up your eyes to some of its options. Good job. Save and render that out.